Hello everybody, this is Pookie TVX. Here for a part two of what I was talking about yesterday with Poppy Hassan Campbell. And like I said, no disrespect to you, Poppy, at all. Not to your fans, your viewers, your enemies, whoever. No disrespect. But I'm speaking some goddamn facts today. People in my chat talking about this and that and do I protect molestation? Fuck no. You should jump off a goddamn cliff or even think some bullshit like that, motherfucker. Come in my goddamn chat with some more shit like that, nigga. I got four motherfucking kids. You hear me? Four kids, all boys. Thank God. Talking about some motherfucking do I condone some goddamn molestation, nigga, please. Do I like I got bambada written across my motherfucking head, nigga? Fuck no. What I'm talking about, nigga, is facts. You don't want bambada to perform. You had plenty of opportunity to stop the nigga. I mean, shit. How many motherfuckers you want to ride when you got them, um, I'm pushing the goddamn e-brake. Motherfucker get tired of all that goddamn jerking. It's just period. Another thing a nigga in this chat talking about Cyanetta uh, got me, Cyanetta got me writing, making videos to pop, fuck no. First of all, I don't even know Cyanetta. I watched the brother. I think the brother, I think he's a cool brother. I think he say what he mean and he say how he feel. And he speak that shit. Remind me of my goddamn uncle. And like he said, he's surgical with it. If you can't out-talk him, that's part of the hustle. You gotta know how to out-talk him. That's the biggest, biggest, biggest part of doing what you have to do to break someone. If you can't out-talk him, your voice is just go unheard. A damn cigarette went out. But yeah, Poppy. I hope you didn't take the video. If you did see it, brother, I hope you didn't take it in a way to where you feel I was coming at you. It's not that, my brother. It's not that at all. It's me telling you, giving you my opinion of your situation that you so far put on social media. So when you put it into the world on social media, you're gonna get a broad amount of opinions. And this is just one. So don't take it in a way to where, you know, it how you feel in a type of way. I'm just telling you the shit that I seen and listen. So you gotta get your ears the same time you get your mouth. Old school. And people in my comments talking about what what I would have done, what would I had done, it wouldn't be no YouTube. It wouldn't be no me on YouTube talking about nothing. I can bet that. I stand on that. You wouldn't have to worry about no goddamn event about to kick off on the 22nd. You can, still, you can bet that. I think that little boy did something. Shit. Nigga. And then a motherfucker in my motherfucking comments. 
going to tell me what would I would have done if I was 14 at that time. You know, nigga, when I was 14, I had a 64 Chrysler Newport, push button automatic, parked around the corner of my mom's house and she didn't know, nigga. I was getting money. You hear me? Getting fucking paper, nigga. Stacking guap. God damn it. And getting pussy. Yeah. <laughs> pussy. The ill penana, nigga. That's what I was getting. Come here talking about what I do, what I know when I was four. Nigga. I knew not that. And again, not to disrespect anybody. My opinion. Talking about some goddamn what would I do when I was 14? How would I know to be in that type? Nigga, please. I take 500 slave ass whoopings from my mom, nigga. Before you see me in a motherfucking homosexual's house waiting on a goddamn Vaseline. And that's straight up. Again, no disrespect. Some people's mind is just different, I guess. You have some points, though, Poppy. I mean, you have points, but you're not pushing the issue. It just seems like a, a temper tantrum to take down somebody that you had a chance to take down. That's what it seems like, brother. Like you upset that he's coming into town and, 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 and doing tours and shit and and and, and, and starting to get and starting to, you know, stick his chest back out and, you know, do what he do. I mean, he must feel that he can do that, right? He must feel hey ain't shit gonna fucking happen. I'm goddamn bambata. I'm goddamn rock rock planet rock. Dumbass shit. That's what he feeling, brother. He said he, he said he going in there to sell out the whole goddamn place too. What you gonna do? Don't get no ticket. Do not get no ticket, Poppy. Don't be on social media talking about you just got a goddamn. Zulu Nation ticket. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. We don't want to see that, brother. Like I said, man, you'll get the people to go further, man, if you're willing to go further. That's all I'm trying to say. You'll get the people to go further if you're willing to go further. Malcolm X. To get his point across, he had to put his goddamn life on the line. Martin Luther King, to get his point across, he had to put his goddamn life on the line. And it goes on, and it goes on, and it goes on. What are you willing to risk? What are you willing to give up? To show the people and show the kids that you for real. Because if not, what you say, you're going to be in Brazil somewhere, everywhere, all, all them little third world countries? Having a goddamn time in this goddamn pedophilia ass life. Nasty, sick motherfucker. I don't know, Poppy. This is just a answer some of your people that's following you to touch up on some of the questions they had in my chat in regards to what I had to say an opinion do any of y'all have an opinion or is y'all just follow the fucking leader do you have any suggestions? Or are you waiting on the next step?
This is life, man. This is life. No second chances. No mess ups. And no goddamn regrets. We all make mistakes in our life. We all make choices that we ain't supposed to do. And we know what we do. People with consciousness, they think about it. They try to amend it. They try to fix. They try to change what they have created or what they have done in their past. That's the whole thing. It goes in a circle. You fix what you fuck up. Period. Everybody shit stink. Pause. So, don't talk about it. Be about it. Or let the shit go. Let's, go, let's move on to another goddamn topic then. Let's talk about something goddamn else. Let's talk what? Let's talk about goddamn midgets. You know what I mean? Midgets, you know, starting gangs and shit. I don't know, some shit. To catch the people, to entertain. That's what it is. Entertainment. But sometimes that entertainment gets boring. You got to change the goddamn channel. I hope that answer to the people in the comments. No, Sayonetta didn't put me up to it. I don't even know Sayonetta, but I wouldn't mind meeting the brother. He's a good brother. Poppy is a good brother. Say some crazy shit sometimes that I don't understand. I just don't understand it. But he a good brother. You understand me? Polite, I don't know about that much. He, I, that nigga look shifty. Polite look goddamn shifty. I wouldn't trust that motherfucker with nothing. That nigga still to crack out your ass, nigga. I wouldn't trust it. He look, he got that look. I'm telling you, I know the look. I've been around so many hoods and some. I ain't gonna go there, man. But I, he, he got that look. So, we're falling for y'all shit. That's y'all fault. You gonna fall for some dumb ass shit. You're like gonna fall for Dr. Umar goddamn school or goddamn goddamn Prince of Pan African. What nigga get that nigga I know nigga I know some uh a hustle when I see it. Goddamn fools gonna fall for that nigga shit. Oh, we're gonna build a school. It's gonna be my school, a black school. It's gonna be Frederick Douglass and David. Get the fuck out of my face, man. That's a whole nother subject, y'all. Prince of goddamn. Prince of bullshit is what he is. Prince of goddamn bullshit. Slick talking motherfuckers. Slicking in the goddamn can of oil. Stop falling for this crazy shit on this thing, people. Don't do it. Should be a goddamn advisory on here, man. Like a goddamn casino. Play at your own risk, man. Some shit like that. Motherfuckers fall for anything instead of standing for something. But again, man, no disrespect, Poppy, at all. Side netter, hold it on, brother. Keep doing what you're doing. Uh, I hope I got to all y'all questions. I hope I answered them. If not, fuck it. That's how I feel about it. Fuck it. If I did, cool. Stay respectful. Love our black beautiful sisters. Respect our black beautiful sisters. Respect yourself. And always stay honey. I'm out.